What do you guys think about, have you watched any of the videos on the leaked, um, House of the Wolves armor gear and set? I mean, have you been trying to, like, utilize? I, you know, I've watched, I've watched a few. Unfortunately, I'm down. One of my favorite, uh, no rush. One of my favorite, uh, YouTubers for Destiny, unfortunately, I found was totally showing how to do cheats and glitches and stuff. Um... You know, like how to, you know, duplicate and stuff. So I had to not only report them, but just unsubscribe. And, but uh, another one I've been following, which I've been... You know, like I said, I, I do report bad YouTubers and streamers. I don't report people, you know, the wrong, for the wrong reason. I report, you know, people breaking TOS of gamers. And, you know, it just ruins it for us all. One bad apple holds back all streamers and gamers and YouTubers. I hate to say it that way, it's just it is. It's a community, one bad guy fucks up the whole world, shuns him. We don't need that kind of shit in our community. But, uh, yeah, um, this other one I've been watching, he shows a bunch of breakdown on it. But I don't know if I want to spoil myself with it yet. I don't know if I want to... I saw, like, a gun and a helmet by accident. I saw little teeny thumbnails of them all, so I kind of have them in my mind. And it looks like what I wanted, more clean cut, royal, sci-fi-ish. Um, I'm excited. And, and that being said, I'm also not in any rush to get it. This week, next week, and when House of the Wolves comes out, we'll see a completely rebalancing of everything in the game. And they said, like, right away, like, your most powerful exotic and all that is going to be seeing changes. But they said for the better. Like, they didn't say everything's getting weaker, just... They said they'd rather make everything a little tougher than lower things that are strong. They don't want people to... They did that the first time. They balanced out some of the weapons by lowering stuff, and they realized that's not what people want. You don't take away once you give. You just make it up by giving everyone else a little bit more, whether defense or offense. But House of the Wolves being held back now a month to possibly three months delay. Um, we got some time to wait. Your fate has been brought. I know, right? Staring a crotch much? Camel. Moose knuckle. <laughs> Why the fuck? <coughs> Camel toe, moose knuckle, the camel tail. Bunch, dump, bunch, bunch, dump, dump. My PlayStation account? I got several. Depends which game you want to play us. What is this Halo you speak of? I heard some company named Bungie once made that. I can't do the weeklies because I, I don't have the, the dark below stuff. Do you guys want to go help me queue it up really quick? Well, I just I can't do a lot of like uh, anything dark below related with my character. Yeah. I can turn it up to 28 hard if you guys want some Vanguard. Ew, that didn't give you shit to push it up that hard. Let's just push through it. <laughs> I just need to do a few of these so I can... Oh, Minecraft, same as the show. Stardust Samurai. Batman 6,500. 65,000. Stardust Samurai, same as the Twitch channel. That's my uh, multiplayer for Minecraft. Um, I, I don't think this is anything like Halo, except for the sci-fi aliens, but of course this was made by Bungie, the originators of Halo back in the day. Um, this offers something Halo didn't, but also takes away something Halo had. This adds a more um, interactive story mode, but sprawled over a multiple DLC and Mega Pack DLC, including sequels on the PS4, Xbox One and PC, and Destiny 2, about five to seven years from now. 
Uh, also, that could be the beneficial time that jumping onto the next gen console. So that's always something to, for people to think about. What if this ne the next big Destiny 2 isn't even until the next console? That is a possibility, you know. Consoles average about every five to seven years. Yeah. But anywho, oh god, wait. Okay, never mind. I totally forgot what we were doing, where we were. I was like, wait, we're right here. I would love to see this become like a full scale MMO. Why is Omnigal out here? This is the Dark Below. This She's out here for a little bit. Now, um, you, we, we kill her. Remember, we have to defend the Warsat, Warmind. Now, a lot of people, what I always tell them about this game, too, is it is is a lot like Destiny, but it's also a lot like Killzone. Oh, it's a lot like Borderlands. But what game a lot of people don't mention that I do a lot of is this game is a lot like DC Universe Online. And if you've ever played that, then you can think, you really see what I mean. And expect, don't think, you can't compare it to DC Universe now. Because you got to think of DC Universe like back in the day when it first came out too. Uh, one, no DLCs, no nothing this. This is the first couple months of the game. There's not a lot of content. They're still working through things. Imagine like 12, four or 12 DLCs down the road. What, what, how many goodies and, and things there are. Jesus Christ. Oh, there was two of them there. Those douche nozzles. Oh. I've gotten like three of them. Hey, you got fucking red death that day though. Yeah, she's got she's got a husk, and my other guy got a husk. I need to switch weapons though. Uh, I'm gonna stay here for a second. Um, now you know it's really that pl my favorite hunting ground on Earth is really one of the best places to go. It's fucking amazing there. I love it. Come on, where's my blunt? There we go, Spitfire. Let's go. That's that the fucking RPG, the Dragon's Breath one. Totally looks like a big blunt wrap. It's always smoking. Big fat green rolled blunt, smoking all the time. I call it my little Spitfire. No, definitely, Batman. Send me a friend request. Uh, I get to him at the end of the show or on breaks. Uh, like I said, Minecraft right now is a closed world. We're building. It's going to be open for Rough Alpha every Friday for the next couple weeks, then closed beta all week long, and then open first come, first serve. Um, and, you know, we also play a lot of Destiny. We play a lot of Minecraft. We play a lot of GTA. Um, just here on the PS3. So, through that. I've been glad to take a break from GTA for a couple weeks. I've been glad to take a break from Destiny because it's so fun to get right back into it and just live the life of a guardian again. And fucking show to them why we're the fucking D.O.B. Your fate has been brought. <laughs> Speaking the truth, brother. Oh shit, we got fucking... I got my bubble up too. Remember, with my glass house, my bubble has like way stronger bonuses too. Oh, oh, yeah, mm, green, bitch, that's how I roll. Well, I'll tell you one thing I do from this game that spoiled me is I try to dance in every other game. Dancing with a blunt on my back. Yeah, we'll just crank out a few of these, get it going. I like the Crota's armor, but I don't at the same time. But it reminds me of like, 
It reminds me of Borderlands, the the kind of the the husk shell. <laughs> I like it. I kind of like the collar because it, it makes good armor for your head and the, from behind, like practical design. And, but at the same time, I you know I, I have to admit, out of all the characters, I think the warlock's my least favorite looking. Dracula. Hit the tower up here really quick. I think I have to talk to somebody. <clears throat> yeah, I like to crank a few of these out. I just want to be able to do the weekly with my character. I don't care about crucible maps right now and getting that stuff. And then, of course, I need to start a warlock and get my warlock up. But I'm not going to start my warlock till I actually find it's at least a set of bluish purple comboed gear for the warlock using my hunter and using my titan. It's just so nice to go from level 20 to like 27 instantly. I like the warlock. I think the warlock's the the um fits its character look perfectly. It's just out of all the different armors I've seen so far, I think it I like the look of uh I don't know. I like all three, really. There's really, you know, all three. I like the hunter well, they're so different, you know, that the difference is so different that there's only a little nuances of, okay, yeah, we're all wearing armor, we're all wearing some similar cloth, we all have helmets on, but the overall shape of them, like the Warlock versus the shape of the Titan, is very distinct, even though it's simply just a helmet. Yeah. I think they've dropped the ball with the Shraders. I think they should be, uh, they could have come out with thousands of color Shraders, like different just 20 or 30 different of each camo spectrum you know what i mean like that that alone would have been uh, you know i love the green the polar oak but uh, you know i'd like to do it like concrete gray shader and you know oh my cryptar just leveled up nice this is gonna be a big payday here i got greens all over the place no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Loot, 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 loot. Oh, crap. But, uh, you know, I did want to say, you know, this is a game for those lovers of Halo, those lovers of Killzone, those lovers of DC Universe, those lovers of Borderlands. Uh, you know, if you don't want to go out adventuring and loot, I just like to go out finding loot. Just crap. Oh. Every character is he, he might have been switching characters. <clears throat> yeah, and um, oh, okay, Sigma. No, not a problem. But it is one of those games that if you don't like to wait for it to grow between DLCs, you don't like to grind, you know, then you're not going to like this game. It definitely, definitely is that kind of game. I like that, though. It has its unique niche, so it's going to find its unique content. I think a lot of people pick it up like it's a general shooter and then they're disappointed. Or they think it's going to be the next Halo or sci-fi Call of Duty, and they don't realize it's more of a DC Universe MMO shooter grinder looter you know and um but i like that <laughs> i think i'm good to go back to orbit and hit the next one up yeah, I'm good. yeah like i said earlier i don't mind if people do the weeklies the dailies the raids like before i wake up on tuesday morning um, they just have to realize that if other people want to do those raids weeklies and dailies with me and they haven't done them, they're going to get priority. <clears throat> of course, I'd rather have an experienced raid team that's always like with me. No, I mean, I wanted to start raids tomorrow. That was my 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 plan. You know, today I was I jumped back on Minecraft. No one was in the build. 
and then I was gonna jump on GTA, but then I realized there's only be like one or two people in there, and that's fun if you're doing very specific stuff. But I did six hours of GTA. I was kind of feeling a break.